What's up everybody, Liam Clisham here for another exciting Redshift tutorial. It's been a little while, so today I have a quick tip that comes by way of Jeff Bryant. He asked me in the MDA Slack, hey, I've got this issue with some like funky refraction and it's not working properly. So we're gonna take a look at how to solve refraction issues inside of Redshift in just a few clicks. So let's jump into it. All right, so inside Cinema 4D, I've got Jeff's file open here. And if you take a look at the render view, you can see there's some weird funkiness happening with this light. So we've got a cylinder light right in here. And as it goes into this frosted glass plastic material, it gets cut off when it should be pushing through it. Um, and so there's a couple issues that we found going through this and troubleshooting it. So one, you really don't wanna be using the subdivision surface, especially since Redshift takes care of that through uh, a Redshift tag. So in here, you can see that we've got this broken down into the light. And right here is the clear plastic light and it's in a subdivision surface. So let's pop that out of here. We can fix that pretty easily with just a tag and throw that glass plastic thing on there. You can see it kind of fixes it, but it's also kind of dark. So we're gonna take care of that in just a second. But let's go ahead and add this Redshift tag and so redshift object and under geometry we're going to do override and turn on enabled and you'll see the same thing happens again and so when Jeff pointed that out I was really kind of confused about why that was happening I figured out it's the new refraction settings that are inside of 2.6 uh, so if we go into our lights and take a look at our ray tab you'll notice that we have this new thing called affected by refraction. So auto is pretty much saying, try and figure out what's going on with refraction, but don't, don't always force it to be correct. There's also never, so just what Redshift has always done. You'll see that fixes it kind of, but it's not actually accurate. And then if you turn it to always, that's 100% accurate and you can tell that it's changed a little bit it's a little bit smoother right around here in these bevels and now we can totally add as many subdivisions as we want so I think we're just going to do two here and you can adjust your lights and it will react around the frame accordingly um, so that's the quick tip here if you're having trouble with refraction don't use a subdivision surface and then also check out the new settings that are in the lights and using the affected by refraction and try setting it to never or always never is the go-to auto is kind of in between and like try and figure it out but if not then resort to kind of just turning off and then always means it is physically accurate and really trying to work with that refraction so that's it for this quick tip. If you guys ever have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Find me on any of the slacks that I'm on. You can ask me a question in there and it really drives what kind of tutorials I make for you guys. I know it's been a while since I've done a quick tip or a full range tutorial and it's basically because I've covered so much, but when something like this comes up, it's a really great idea to make a tutorial about it. So Jeff asking me this question led to this tutorial. Again, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments reach out to me, I'm 531 basically everywhere on the internet and we can work through your issues together and help the whole community grow. With that said, thank you so much for helping this community grow and being a follower and really making this Redshift thing possible. Um, I know Octane's been around for a long time and they have a lot of material, so you guys help me come up with the content and I really appreciate it. All right guys, I'll talk to you soon, thanks.